we have seen what absolute value of a number means. What is the absolute value of minus 3? It tells us the distance of minus 3 from 0 on a number line. As minus 3 is 3 units away from 0, its absolute value will be 3. And what about the absolute value of 3? The number 3 is also 3 units away from 0. The absolute value of 3 will also equal 3. The absolute value of minus 29 will be 29. The absolute value of minus 120 will equal 120 and so on. But now I want you to pause the video for a bit and think about one real life application of absolute value. Just one. If you have not thought about it before, it's okay. Most haven't. Let's say you're based in Kansas. You have New York 1,500 miles to the east and California 1,500 miles to the west. One day, you decide to meet your friend in New York. You leave in the morning and after having covered around 400 miles, you get a phone call. You stop your car and answer the call. Wah! You've been called to Mountain View, California for an important meeting. You decide to rush towards California. It all goes well, you finish your meeting in California and then you're on your way back home. After covering around 600 miles, you decide to stop for lunch. And then you start wondering about two things. First, how far away from home are you placed? Which means, how far are you from Kansas? And second, what's the total distance you've covered? Yes, how much distance have you covered in traveling back and forth? Let's note down the sequence of events assuming your home as the reference point. First, you traveled 400 miles to the east. This distance is 400 miles. And then from this point, you travel to California. What would be the distance from this point to California? It would be this distance plus this distance. That would be 400 plus 1,500, 1,900 miles towards west. And from California, you traveled 600 miles to the east. This distance is 400 miles. This entire distance is 1,900 miles. And this distance is 600 miles. Let's talk about the first question that came to your mind. Where are you in relative to Kansas? To understand that answer, think of this as a number line. A number line in which east is positive and west is negative. 400 miles to the east will be positive 400. Then 1,900 miles to the west would be negative 1,900. And 600 miles to the east would be positive 600. What would these numbers add up to? East is positive, so we write 400. As west is negative, we subtract 1,900 and then add 600 again as it's in the positive direction. 400 minus 1900 plus 600 will give us minus 900. What does minus mean in this particular example? It's west. So your relative position will be 900 miles to the west of Kansas. Relative position needs to include the direction. I cannot say that your relative position from Kansas is just 900 miles because it could mean 900 miles to the east also. So your relative position from your home is 900 miles to the west. The second thing you were wondering about was the total distance you have travelled. How would you find the total distance you travelled? I want you to pause the video and work through this. Yes, to find the total distance you covered, you would ignore the direction. You travelled 400 miles up to this point then 1,900 miles to California and 600 miles to this point. The total distance would equal 400 plus 1,900 plus 600 which is equal to 2,900 miles. Wait a moment, what exactly did we do here? What we did here unknowingly was that we found the absolute value of each number. Yes, we ignored the sign and simply added the three numbers. So yes, a car's odometer uses the absolute value concept.